Okay, so you want to know how this whole AI thing is going to shake things up for product managers. Buckle up, because we're diving deep into some seriously insightful articles. Articles you need to know about. Right, the AI revolution. Yeah. It's not just hype, folks. It's not. This stuff is real, and it's about to change the game for PMs big time. Yeah. So if you're thinking about your own development, like, how do you stay relevant? Yeah. How do you level up your skills? We're going to unpack all of that today. What skills are essential now? Right. What opportunities are out there? Yeah. What are the risks? The whole shebang. The landscape is shifting faster yeah. than ever, that's for sure. It's true. But you know what I think is even more important than just focusing on the technology itself? What's that? It's really understanding the relationship between humans and AI. Okay. And how that's going to reshape the very core of what it means to be a product manager. That's a great point. Yeah. Because it's not just about the tools, right? It's about how we use them. And one of the biggest names in the field, Jacob Nielsen. He's got some seriously mind-blowing thoughts on this. Yeah. He talks about these two laws of AI. That really really made me think. Yeah, they're fascinating. And so relevant to PMs especially. His first law is, today's AI is the worst we'll ever have. Okay, now that sounds a little counterintuitive, right? It does, a little bit. Because you think AI, it's only going to get better. Yeah, it seems like... What does he mean by that? Well, he's saying that AI is only going to get more powerful. Right. So we're just at the very beginning of what's possible. So it's like, We've bought a ticket on a rocket ship that's still being built. Exactly. And we have no idea how fast it's going to go. Exactly. That's both exciting and a little intimidating. A hundred percent. Right. Yeah. But here's the really key thing. His second law. It emphasizes that the real magic doesn't come when AI replaces humans. Okay. It comes when humans and AI work together. Okay. He calls this human AI symbiosis. Symbiosis, like like those little fish that clean the teeth of the bigger fish. Yes, exactly like that. Okay. Except in this case, we're talking about building incredible products, not just cleaning teeth. Not cleaning teeth, right. But, but that idea of collaboration, of mutual benefit, that's what it's all about. Gotcha. And Nielsen, he gives this really great example to illustrate how this could work. Imagine you need to design a new park. Okay. You could just let an AI go wild and generate a bunch of park designs. Okay, so just let the AI run the show. Yeah, just feed it a bunch of data about parks um, and say go. Now, the AI might come up with some pretty wild stuff. Right. Probably stuff we can't even imagine. Probably things we've never even dreamed of. Right. But here's the catch. It might not actually be what people want from a park. Right, because it doesn't understand the why. Exactly. It can oh. analyze data. It can look at park usage but it doesn't truly grasp the human element. Like what makes people feel happy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or relaxed or, you know, want to go to that park. It doesn't understand those emotional needs, those desires that drive us. Right. And that's why Nielsen advocates for a different approach. Okay, so what's his take on it? Instead of letting the AI run the show, okay. you start with a vision. Okay. You say, I want a park that's peaceful. And relaxing, mm -hmm. but also has some fun elements for kids. Okay. So you're setting the high-level goals. Right. You feed that vision to the AI. Okay. And it helps you refine it. So it's like the AI becomes your super-powered design assistant. Exactly. That's a great way to put it. It takes your initial vision and then uses its power to make it even better. Interesting. So it's like... It's taking your ideas and polishing them. Exactly. And helping you achieve a level of quality and innovation that you couldn't have reached on your own. So is that true collaboration? Yes. It's that symbiosis in action. Where the sum is greater than, exactly. than the parts. Yes. And this is crucial for product managers to get. Because the PMs who will thrive in the age of AI okay. aren't going to be the ones who try to fight it. Right. Or even just keep up with it. Right. It's going to be those who embrace AI as a partner. As a collaborator. Okay. A, a force multiplier. Those who can harness its power. Yes. While still bringing their own, you know, uniquely human skills to the table. Exactly. And that actually brings us to another really fascinating aspect of how AI is transforming the role of the PM. Okay. Let's hear it. And it has to do with the very structure of product teams themselves. Ooh, okay. So we're not just talking about individual skills here. Nope. Yep. We're talking about how teams are structured. The whole shebang. All right, I intrigued. Lay it on me. So we're talking about AI as this incredible design partner. But how does that actually play out 
in the real world. Like what happens to the traditional product team structure? That's where things get really interesting. Okay. Because think about it. If AI can handle a lot of the technical heavy lifting. Like yeah. generating code, even designing user interfaces based on your prompts. Right. You don't necessarily need as many specialists on a single team. So instead of having a team of like five or six people. Oh, with their different skill sets, all working together. You know, that classic sprint cycle. Right. You might have smaller. Hyper-focused teams. Mm -hmm. Imagine a PM. Working directly with an AI. That can code, that can test. That can even iterate on designs based on real-time feedback. Wow. That is a pretty radical shift. So instead of needing, say, a front-end developer. Who's an expert in React. Right. You might just need a PM who's really good at communicating their vision. Yes. To the AI. Exactly. And that's where things like prompt engineering. Become absolutely essential. Right. Because you're not managing a team of humans anymore. You're managing this collaboration between humans and this incredibly powerful AI. Exactly. It's like learning a whole new language. But instead of talking to a person, you're talking to a machine. That can turn your words into working software. Right. It really changes how you think about development. Yeah. Um, just like any language. There are nuances. Right. Best practices. Even like different dialects, depending on the specific AI you're working with. Wow. Okay, so product managers of the future. Start brushing up on your AI whispering skills. Right, exactly. But okay, so if AI is taking on more of the technical side. What does that mean for the actual role of the PM? This is where it gets really exciting. Okay. Because as AI takes on more of those execution-focused tasks... PMs are freed up to focus on higher-level thinking. Strategy, and really understanding the why behind the products they're building. So instead of getting bogged down in the day-to-day... -day, exactly. Product managers become more like... Um, product visionaries. Yes. I love that. Because it's true. PMs can spend more time thinking about the long-term impact of their product. About exploring new market opportunities. Right. About making sure their AI teammate is aligned with the company's overall goals. So it's not just the skills of a PM that are changing. But the entire scope of the role is evolving. Yes. But this brings up another big question. What happens to all those agile methodologies we've come to rely on? Right. Like sprints. Right. If an AI can accomplish in a day what used to take a week, yeah. those traditional sprint cycles start to feel Outdated. It's like trying to race a Tesla in a horse-drawn carriage. Exactly. And some experts are already talking about the rise of... What they're calling micro-sprints. Oh. These super short, iterative cycles. Or teams are constantly adapting based on feedback from users and their AI collaborators. That sounds intense. But also kind of exciting. Imagine being able to test new ideas and iterate on your product. Multiple times per day. Right. Talk about agility. Right. It's a whole new world. But it's important to remember that AI at least for now. Isn't some kind of magic solution? Right. It has its limitations. Right. And Teresa Torres had some really insightful things to say about this. In her article on AI and product discovery. And she makes this great point. AI is amazing at analyzing data. Finding patterns. But it can't replace those crucial human conversations. Exactly. You can't ditch your user interviews just yet. Right. Because empathy. That ability to truly connect with your users on an emotional level. Yes and understand their why. That's so it's distinctly human skill. It is. Right. Yeah. And Torres brings up another really, really important point. The danger of relying too heavily on... AI-generated insights. Yes. She actually had this experience where... ChatGPT created these perfect customer stories. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Perfect customer stories. What's the problem with that? Don't we want perfect customers? Well, the problem was... The stories were completely fictional. What? ChatGPT had essentially invented these idealized customers that didn't reflect the messiness and complexity of real human beings. Ah, okay. So AI can give us the like the textbook answer. Right, right, exactly. But it's those real world experiences with all their quirks and contradictions that often lead to those breakthrough innovations. Yay! That's where the real magic happens. It's true. And that brings us back to the importance of those uniquely human skills. Exactly. We were talking about earlier. It's like AI can give you the map of the city. But you still need that local guide. Who knows all the back alleys and the hidden gems yes. to really like unlock its full potential? 100%. And that local guide in this case is the product manager right? who can synthesize those AI-driven insights. With their own human understanding of 
user needs. Market trends and that overall product vision. Right. Okay. So it's not about being afraid of AI taking our jobs. It's about understanding its strengths, yeah. its limitations. And then focusing on developing the skills that make us, well, human. Exactly. And those skills. Like empathy, creativity, strategic thinking. Those are going to become even more valuable in yeah. the age of AI. Lenny Rachitsky, actually, he tested this out. In his AI versus human PM challenge. Oh, yeah. And the findings were fascinating. I read that article. It was so interesting. Wasn't it something like AI was great at certain tasks? Yeah, like summarizing feedback. Right, like, yeah. Generating feature ideas. And w when it came to building a truly strategic product roadmap. Right. That's where it fell short. That's where the AI fell short. Yeah. It could analyze the data. But it couldn't synthesize that data. Into a cohesive strategy right. that took into account all of the nuances. All the complexities. That really make a product successful. So the AI can give you all the pieces of the puzzle. But it still needs a human to figure out how they all fit together and create that, you know. Beautiful functional picture. Exactly, exactly. Right. That's the exciting part, though. Yeah. This isn't about AI versus humans. It's about finding that sweet spot. Where human ingenuity and AI's incredible processing power can work together to create things that were unimaginable just a few years ago. Right. So for all you PMs out there listening, this is your call to action. Don't just learn how to use AI. Learn how to partner with it. Yes. Think about those uniquely human skills that you bring to the table and how you can leverage them to become even more effective in this new era of product development. Because the best product managers of the future aren't going to be the ones who fear change. It's going to be the ones who embrace it. Right. The ones who are constantly learning. Adapting. Pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It's true. Those who aren't afraid to experiment. Yes. Challenge assumptions. And ask those what if questions. That can lead to those groundbreaking innovations. Exactly. Exactly. So true. And remember. This is just the beginning. As AI continues to evolve. The possibilities for product management they're limitless. It's true. This has been an incredible deep dive. It feels like we've only just scratched the surface we have. of what AI means for the future of product management. We've just started to explore this incredible landscape. Right, and we want to hear from you. Our listeners. Yes. What are your thoughts? What are your questions? Head over to our website. We've got a ton of resources linked there. We do. Articles, tools, all sorts of goodies. To help you dive even deeper into this topic. Exactly. And for those of you who want to keep the conversation going. Hit us up on social media. Let's keep this AI conversation rolling. Yes. Let's do it. Until next time, keep diving deep. Keep exploring. And keep building the future of product management. One AI-powered feature at a time. See you next time.